Hello everyone. Rise of nationalism in Europe. Lesson one: History, Grade Ten, CBSC. This is the introductory screen. What you are seeing is a diagram or an artwork which was created by Frederick Sorio, and he called it as "Dream of Worldwide Democratic and Social Republics." Statue of Liberty is shown here, and people are marching from very far and coming to give their respect to the statue. United States and Switzerland had already become nation states, and they were the first to march out from the area. Germany, Austria, Sicily, Lombardy, Poland, England, Ireland, Hungary, and Russia are following. Symbols of absolutist institutions. That means the monarchy. They were all shattered, and the pieces are just shown in front. And from the heaven, Christ and angels are gazing upon the scene. This was an utopian vision. That means nation states did not exist, but still, Sorio had imagined, and he had just drawn this diagram. The artist during the French Revolution personified liberty as a female figure. Statue of Liberty held the torch of enlightenment in one hand and Charter of Rights of Man in the other. The shattered remains of symbols of absolutist institutions they are shown in the foreground. 18th century Europe was entirely different from today's Europe. Nation states did not exist. people were thinking about two different ideas modern state which meant which meant centralized power sovereign control clearly defined territory and nation state was a common collective notion which was shown like common identity they wanted common culture they wanted to follow and a common language they wanted to follow this is called as a nation state French Revolution an idea of the nation unit 1 Bastille was the royal prison a symbol of fear during the French Revolution people shattered it into pieces How did France benefit from the revolution list the changes which followed after the French Revolution seven point answer will be discussed now nationalism love for the nation it came about and absolute monarch was removed transfer of power transfer of sovereignty from monarchy to the french citizens people constitute the nation and would henceforth shape its destiny students and educated middle classes set up various clubs like the jacobin clubs French armies campaign spread to Belgium Holland Switzerland Italy in 1790s French armies carry the idea of nationalism abroad to the neighboring places they also helped Europe to become a nation what steps did the French revolutionaries take to create a sense of collective identity among French people Twelve point answer will be discussed now. Ideas of fatherland, that is la patrie, and citizen, la citoyen, emphasize the notion of a united community enjoying equal rights under a constitution. Constitution is the rule book which will have rules for everybody. Equal rights they will possess. New French flag was replaced with the royal standard. Estates General was elected by active citizens who had voting rights, and the Estates General was renamed as National Assembly. New hymns were composed, oaths were taken, martyrs were commemorated in the name of the nation. 
centralized administrative system was adopted uniform laws for all citizens within its country internal custom duties and dues were abolished regional dialects were discouraged that means many languages existed they just took french as it was spoken and written in paris and it became the common language of the nation uniform system of weights and measures were adopted napoleon seized the political power in 1799 he gave the civil code of 1804 or otherwise it is called as napoleonic code equality before law everyone was equal they had the right to purchase property he abolished all privileges based on birth simplified administrative system and the law the code was henceforth exported to the areas under the french control like dutch republic switzerland italy and germany abolished feudal system poor peasants were had to work for rich landlords and rich landlords used to take away the profit this system was abolished serfdom and manorial dues were also abolished removed restrictions on guilds guilds means union improved transport and communication so who were the happiest here small businessmen who wanted uniform laws and standard weights and measures were adopted everywhere common national currency came into existence and it helped in the movement of goods and capital that's all the same thing is put away in points in the next slide napoleonic code was still unpopular with many regions and what were the drawbacks of napoleonic code the following comes as the answer there the areas which were conquered by napoleon the reactions of people were mixed poland switzerland brussels mainz milan warsaw they saw french armies as harbingers of liberty they had come to free them from the bad government which was going on at that time but initial enthusiasm soon turned into hostility so what were the limitations political freedom was not that much effective increased taxation everywhere increased censorship that means newspapers were not allowed to print the truth and uh, armies were like he was filling up people with french armies because he wanted to capture the rest of europe post conscription into french armies required to conquer the rest of europe this was the main point what people did not like and this is the end of unit 1 unit 2 will be made available soon the entire lesson will be shared as question and answers will be easier for the students to prepare for exam thank you